So the stimulus bill, the big fiscal stimulus bill, is also a wonderful laboratory for trying to understand the what drives Washington, what drives politics. It turns out that the stimulus bill delivered hugely different benefits across different congressional districts. New York's Anthony Weiner managed to deliver only $7 per capita in specific stimulus bill spending to his district, while in Washington, the Republican Doc Hastings delivered $3,750 worth of benefits to his constituents. And so we see this huge variation across districts, and the question is, what drives it? Well, if you're an economist, you might think that what should drive differences in stimulus spending across space would be all about, uh, you'd want to spend more money where the unemployment rate had risen the most. That turns out not to be the case. Or you might think that you'd want to spend more money where there are more shovel-ready projects. And there's a little bit of evidence on that, but really not too much. To a political scientist instead, you want to get inside the politics. So maybe if the, Democrat, the Democrats controlled uh, the White House, they controlled Congress, you might think they'd want to deliver favours to Democratic districts. Turns out Democratic districts got about as much money as Republican districts. Or you might think that uh, lawmakers really want to bring home the bacon to their specific district, in which case the most powerful lawmakers are going to bring home the most money. But it turns out the most powerful lawmakers brought home just as much, or not much more money than the less powerful ones. You might think this is a big political game and what they want to do is redirect benefits to help Democrats get re-elected. But it turns out that uh, swing states or swing districts didn't get much more, may even have gotten less, than uh, the non-competitive political districts. So it's a wonderful paper, this one. It says, let's try and explain what, what drove differences in stimulus spending across districts, and the answer is we don't really know. Now it's often as a social scientist we find that unsatisfying, but the point here is we have very precise theories that made very precise predictions, and none of those, th those, none of those predictions were borne out in the data. And so it says we political economists need to go back to the drawing board and think a little harder about how we can ex explain which congressmen or congresswomen are going to be more successful in bringing home the bacon.